One more time for the greatest team in America. Hi folks, this is Alan Tyson for Lee Hill and Johnston Insurers. Well, it was another tough week for our Blue Birds two Saturdays ago in Bloomington as the Indiana Hoosiers scored 31 unanswered points in the first 18 minutes of the game and went on to defeat our Birds by a score of 52 to 17. Statistically, our offense put up their best numbers of the season, but they just couldn't seem to stop shooting themselves in the foot. The biggest disappointment of the day, however, was our defense which allowed the boys from B-Town to roll up big plays both on the ground and through the air, giving up five touchdowns and a field goal. Tack on a punt return and a takeaway for a touchdown, and you got yourself a formula for getting your butt whipped. Coming off a nine-win season, including a victory in the GoDaddy Bowl in 2015, a five and seven record in 2016, and an 0-3 start in 2017, certainly is not what Coach Summers, his staff, or our players would have hoped for. But sometimes things aren't quite as bad as they seem. Here's a fairy tale for you. After the 2012 season, a brand new first time head football coach takes over a very successful FCS program in transition. In 2013, he puts up a four and eight season. In 2014, their first official season in the FBS, the team starts at 1-5 through their first six games. With a 5-13 record through his first 18 games, the fans are up in arms to fire the coach, who was obviously a terrible hire. But then it happened. The team wins six games in a row to end 2014 at 7-5. In 2015, their first year of bowl eligibility, they finish 11 and two and win their first ever bowl game. In 2016, they finish 10 and three and win their second consecutive bowl game. Now, get this, since their one and five start in 2014, they are 27 and nine overall. They are 21 and two in conference play, winning a share of the league in 2016, and they are 26 and five against G5 teams since the start of 2014. Now that's a fairy tale, right? Well, not so fast, my friend. That is actually the real life story of the start to Todd Satterfield's tenure after taking over in December of 2012 at Appalachian State. Just say it. Time to draw a line in the sand, Big Blue. As for today, it's certainly not your typical Wednesday night in the borough as our Eagles become the last team in the FBS to play a home football game taking on Arkansas State on national television at the prettiest little stadium in America. The always talented Red Wolves have been awfully hard to figure early in the season over the last couple of years, opening 2015 and 2016 with a combined 1-7 record in their first four games. But they have a combined 15-1 record in their last eight regular season contests. With these Crimson Casanovas from Craighead County standing at 1-2 so far in 2017, my math skills tell me that the four-game window of opportunity is still open. With that in mind, and the fact that after 364 days, our Blue Birds have a chance to free themselves from the funk last year's 27-26 fiasco of a loss to this bunch of Don Juans from the Delta put them in, I look for our men in blue to race on to tonight's national stage with a vengeance, striking early and often as they put something on these pups from Paragool that Oral Roberts can't take off. Run through these Romeos like a dose of salts, Eagles. And folks, you just can't beat that. And you just can't beat Georgia Southern. 
and you ain't seen nothing yet.